Technology to tackle composting at home. Welcome to another Text to Nation interview. Joining us is Matt Bertulli, the CEO and co-founder at a company called Pila, P-E-L-A, maker of the Lomi. Thank you for joining us, Matt. Yeah, thanks for having me here, man. Well, give us some background about the company. Very interesting. Yeah, we started, uh, so Jeremy kind of created the compostable phone case like 10 years ago, like eight, eight to 10 years ago. Um, I came on as a co-founder about five years ago, I was super interested in the material science and like just what could we do to make everyday products without everyday waste. Um, and then about three years ago, we started working on Lomi as a solution to like, where, where do people put compostable plastics? Um, cause globally there's just, there is no infrastructure for this stuff. The materials are super cool and everybody loves the promise of less plastic on the planet, but where do, where do consumers put them? Right. Um, so that's when we came up with Lomi as like a, you know, this, this could definitely be a solution to how to get rid of home compostable plastics, but even more importantly, or just as important as uh, food waste is just a gigantic problem on the planet. So uh, solves a lot of things with just one, one product, but that's like the super quick, that's where the company came from. And for those people who are viewing, there's a Lomi sitting in back of you, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Just right here. Yeah. That's well, Lomi. Tell us about it, what it is, what it does. Yeah. So it's a new kind of home, like home technology. Um, it's designed to be kitchen countertop, right? It's the, it's sort of the size of it was built. So it holds about three liters of food waste, um, turns it into dirt overnight. So like you turn it on when you turn on your dishwasher, it fits in that sort of same family rhythm, right? You put your food scraps in, um, any kind of food waste, and then it's got one button on the front of it, press the button, it starts the cycle. And the next day, when you go to open Lomi, Lomi has turned all that food waste into dirt. And the dirt can simply be put in a garden, you know, flower pots. Um, you can put it on your grass. Like it's just, it's usable dirt. What is it doing to, to do the head overnight? What can you tell us? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like, look, I think the big thing is, you know, we're not trying to take composting. So composting... Like anybody who's ever had a backyard compost knows that like the process itself in a natural backyard home compost, that's reasonably healthy. You know, it's about a six month process to get to like super rich compost. Right. Um, what Lomi's doing it and what we're going for is not to try to condense six months into one day. What we're trying to do is accelerate like the first 80% of the process so that what comes out of Lomi can be put into like existing soil and dirt and then that it'll finish off that breakdown and that like maturation in the dirt. So Lomi is using all the elements of, of composting. It's using oxygen, heat, and humidity. Um, we've got a small turnstile in there that's turning the food as it runs. Um, there's a bunch of sensors and software in the machine that are cycling up and down to measure heat, humidity, oxygen, um, to make sure that it's breaking down most effectively. And yeah, I mean, what comes out of it is like, Think of it, you know, 40 to 50% humidity feeling very dirt, like dirt, like, right. It, it feels like dirt. And when you put that into say, like, I don't know if you've got garden beds or not, but if I put that into one of my garden beds at home, um, it will finish off its degradation process in nature, which is how mother nature does it too. Like if anybody's ever wondered when, when a leaf falls off a tree, like how does it degrade? It's the same process right? Like there's lots of little microorganisms and, and bacteria that you want um, that makes for healthy soil. And that's how soil is made. Interesting. What sets you apart from, uh, I guess there, there are a few competitors appearing out on the market today. What yeah. sets what you're doing apart? Um, yeah. There, I mean, there's been, I, I explain it like this is sort of a BlackBerry to iPhone jump in innovation, right? So like there's other phones, but nobody ever really compared the iPhone to the BlackBerry. Um, so for Lomi, I mean, our big thing is our, our tech is very unique. Um, we've even filed three patents around it. Um, so the software and the sensors are, are super unique. Like nobody, like we make these ourselves, right? So like this isn't some company you can call to make a Lomi. We actually have to build our own manufacturing, everything from scratch because it's a totally new type of, tech, right? Um, before us, there's been food dehydrators. So like, you know, really high heat, grind up your food, 
and spits out like almost like a dust, um, which accomplishes similar output, like takes your food waste, turns it into dust. What we're going for is something much more impactful. Like uh, if we can, if Lomi, you know, gets up to scale, Lomi effectively becomes one of the most scalable uh, carbon capture and carbon diversion technologies out there, right? Like keeping food waste at a landfill is huge. But then also if you can turn every home into a little mini sort of soil building facility, so everybody is contributing to the rebuilding of the world's soil, that is a huge win for carbon capture, right? Like soil and plants capture carbon better than anything we can make. Sounds terrific. Now, You've had a very successful campaign on, on Indiegogo. Tell us about yeah. that. Yeah. So we launched uh, on just before Earth Day this year in April. Um, we've had about, I think we sold like 20,000 Lomis, um, which into it on itself is like, it's pretty amazing, right? It just shows like people are really resonating with the, the promise of Lomi. Um, we've got them here in the office too, and they work like, like beautifully. So it, the product itself is incredible. So the campaign was live for, I think, 45 days. So, so we sold about 20,000 Lomis in about 45 days. Um, it went absolutely nuts, which is kind of what we wanted. Like we wanted to put something out there that not just sold well, but like people got really excited about. And you have it on, on your website now. So tell us how people uh, can uh, get in line for one, what they cost, and when they'll actually get them in their homes. Yeah, totally. Um, so we stopped the campaign and we moved everything over to pila.earth slash Lomi, or just go to pila.earth and you can figure it out. Um, so right now, all you have to do to get your Lomi reserved is put down a $50 deposit, right? So we won't charge the customer the rest until it actually ships. Um, we just want people to know that like, this is like, we are absolutely shipping. Um, so we're on track right now to actually start shipping all of those Indiegogo orders starting in, a, in late November of this year. So we're slightly ahead of what we thought we would be for schedule. Uh, one of the benefits to being a company that has, like we've got about 65 employees, right? So a lot of crowdfunding uh, campaigns are run by very, very new teams and very new companies. Whereas Pila has, you know, we've got a million customers. We have supply chain and manufacturing capabilities and you know, we've got quite a robust team that's making this happen. So you can reserve it now for 50 bucks. Um, they'll ship right now. The reservations we're taking are starting to ship in January. So we've, we've sold out of November and December. We're all almost already sold out of January's uh, allocation of, of Lomis. Um, and they range. So the, the pricing, there's two options so that you can buy it for uh, the $50 deposit option is you get it, the Lomi for $299. And then you're signing up for a subscription on the air filters and the additives, right? Um, or you can just buy the machine outright at $399 uh, and then buy filters and additives however you want. So there's two options. Depends on what people want. So tell me about the uh, consumables, for lack of a better word. Here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, part of composting is smell right? Like nobody wants the smell. I mean, nobody likes the smell of food rotting in their house anyway. The fruit uh, whether, flies love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fruit flies love it. Human beings, uh, not so much. Raccoons also love it. So yeah, uh, to get rid of the smell, we designed a, a pretty slick air filter system, um, which means one of those, like one of the, the chambers in Lomi requires the filters to be replaced. It depends on how many cycles you run, right? So um, we have ferro filters and then we also have an additive, which is think of it like a probiotic, um, like a little pill that you put in with each cycle. And that adds the right sort of, uh, microorganisms to the mix, which is what helps speed up the breakdown, right. Digesting and eating the food as well as, uh, helps eliminate the smell. So those two elements alone take like a pretty disgusting, smelly part of your life and, make it, you know, pleasant. It also means, I suppose, that uh, come trash day, you're going to be taking out a lot less. Oh, my gosh. Or maybe not even as often. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, if you were to, I mean, if you put all your food waste in here and you wanted to just throw it in the garbage, you'd be throwing out, like, 80% less trash. Like, it's, it's a substantial, I mean, if you look at, like, 
the average house, if you don't have a green bin program, like where they're picking up your food waste, um, you know, I think half 50 to 60% or more of your garb, like the household garbage is food related organics. Right. Um, if you do have a green bin, even better, like you could run Lomi and take what comes out of Lomi and put it in the green bin. And now you don't have all that smell and, you know, no more raccoons, no more fruit flies, none of that other stuff in your garage. So it's, it drops in nicely, whether you have green bin, have garbage, you know, or if you're just like a gardening enthusiast and you want to add to your, to your beds, right. You just want like input into your little ecosystem in your backyard. You bring this up to scale. Um, tell me what your thoughts are about being able to bring the pricing down to make it more affordable to more households. Totally. I mean, I, I obsess over this. So the whole, the goal here for Pila, like we're a environmental impact company. Like that's, that's why we're doing this. Um, and the only way to have like really big scalable impact, at least the kind we want is that this thing needs to be affordable. Like we need to put this into every house in America, every house in Canada, like everywhere, just globally, you know, every home needs to be doing this. Um, we think the price is actually going to come down pretty dramatically to make them over the next sort of 24 to 36 months. That's just a volume thing. Um, again, like just going back to, we're having to create a whole different, like this is a totally new product, right? Like I think when Apple made the first iPhone, like they had to build a lot of net new manufacturing processes and parts and all kinds of stuff. So when things are early like this, they're just expensive to make. Um, TVs, like everything goes through the same cycle, right? It starts up top and then like scale makes things cheaper. We expect it to be very much following a similar curve. Um, I don't know what we're our, like, we don't have target costs yet. We just know they're going to come down. Like right now for the price that we sell Lomi at versus what it costs us to make it, like the economics aren't great for us, um, but we know they'll get there. Very interesting. So you're going to be shipping the end of the year to the early backers and, and early next year right now, people can yep. get in line for those. Totally. Once, once again, what's the website? Uh, just Pila.Earth. That's it. P-E-L-A dot Earth. Earth. Yeah. Matt Bertulli, thank you so much for taking the time with us and congratulations on the innovation. Yeah, thanks, man. It's been fun. <laughs>